Thank you. So having done the algorithm A star, we now move over to modifying the depth first search technique. Let us just quickly recap. We are solving a minimization problem for the time being. At every node, we have Fn equal to Gn plus Hn. And we also have the Hn less than equal to H star n. And we also have Hn is monotonic. This is our problem. So how do we modify depth first search? As we know, depth first search may not give the first solution to be optimal. So we will get a sequence of solutions as we move by using depth first search. Because in depth first search, the newer elements will be put back into the front of open list. So in open list, the new elements will be inserted in front. So what we do is we create a variable called current best. Which we initialize to infinity. That means since I have got no solution till now, I initialize to infinity. Then I perform DFS with Fn. That means how do I use Fn? I don't use Fn for either insertion from into the uh, open list or removal from the open list. But has my screen gone blank? Is my no, screen sir. visible? No, sir. It's visible. So uh, I think there are people who have started the class in some other. So OK, fine, good. Uh, so what we do is in open list, we again, we remove the first node from open list as in depth first search. And we generate the children. So our steps, as you can recall, what were our steps of, of any heuristic search algorithm? Initialize. So initialize, uh, uh, then select. Uh, then uh, then goal test, uh, then expand, test. then um, ex uh, expand, then um, continue. Expand, then continue. So here in the initialization step, <clears throat> here in the initialization step, the additional thing that we do, other than keeping the open list other than keeping the open list with only the start node and computing its FS value, here we assign current best to infinity. And what do we select? In open list for depth first search, the first node. First. Node. Now, here, the first node in open, let it be n. If n is goal, what do we do? Update current best if it is less than the current best. Correct. So there are two, three things we will have to do. If it is goal, then we update CB with the best of the current CB and the cost of this one. Now, suppose, suppose, we are not supposed to get it, but, but suppose. Now, once we expand the node and we generate the children. So again, there are two, three cases. This node, the new children could either be could be new. 
that means they are neither in open nor in closed. If they are neither in open nor in closed, we compute their Fn equal to GNI, HNI and FNI. We compute this FNI equal to GNI plus HNI. Is there anything else we need to do? Is there anything else we need to do? We need to check if the FN is greater than or equal to best cost. Then. Yes, yes, yes. This is a very important point. This point is very important. If FNI is greater than or equal to CB, then what do we do? Put it in closed. Discard. Oh yeah, discard, sorry. We simply discard this note. Has everybody understood why? Because this is a lower bound. We have already have a solution of cost, let us say 23. The FNI of this node is 24. So is there any point going below this node? No, sir. Right. So this step is called pruning. And then you do the rest of the steps and continue. So we go on doing this and our termination criteria will be when open is empty. When open is empty, we will terminate with CB. If CB is infinity, then we have not found a solution. However, we know that depth first search can go in one direction if the graph is infinite in one direction and the solution lies in another, pa another path at a finite step, uh, depth first search can go back. So now, these are the small steps. I will request you to you know, work out the algorithm on your own and write the full version of the algorithm. So let us now quickly execute this. Uh, and I have done it in the video, but today we will do it depth for search. Depth for search. See in in uh, best first search or A star, since the open list is sorted by FN or we remove the minimum, it does not matter in which order you put the nodes into open. Correct. But does it matter in uh, depth first search? Yes. It will matter, right? Digvijay, Digvijay Nath Tiwari. Sir. Will it matter? Yes, sir, it will. Okay. So in let us look at the steps of the algorithm. And let us do in another order than what we have done before. So in step one, what is open? What is closed? Digvijay, tell me. Uh, so in step one, open will be uh, uh, in just A and closed will be empty. Yeah, open will be A with 0, 6, 6, null. And closed is empty. Good. Now. Now, Asim, Asim Sohel, are you there in class? Azim Sohel. Unam, are you there? Sorry, yes, who? sir. Ha, please note down those who are not responding. Azim Sohel. Yes. Sir. Okay. Chavi Chaudhary. Yes, sir. So now, which will be removed from open? Sir, A. A will be removed from open. And? When A is removed from open, what what will be put in open and A will be put in closed and what will be put in open? Sir B. Only B? Sir B, C, C D. and D. B, C and D. 
normally we can put it in this because it's it's a stack so the order in which it is put in open is important in depth for search right yes so sir. let us now put it in the reverse order let us put let us choose the order let us choose d c b so what is the f value in d sir 8 for c 18 16 12 plus 4 yes sir 16 and for b for b 15 thank you devdut mandal are you there yes sir yes sir oh what is our initial cb sir uh, initial cb was null infinity initial cb is yeah, infinity. infinity yeah 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 because we will take the yeah. lowest one now now which node is put in closed uh, sir as it is dfbb then uh, we will put d as d. closed very good very good which children are going to be put now uh, sir h and g ah uh, h will have a value how much uh, 4 plus 3 7 and uh, No, no. Um, H will have F yes, value. Um, F value of H. Yes. F value. Uh, it is G value of D. G value of D is five. So G yes. value of H will be nine. So F value of H will be uh, nine plus three. Well, correct. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. What else will be put? G. Uh, so G value will put, and then no, that no, no. Uh, if, if other value, than H, D has been taken out. So what will be put in open? The children of D, na? Yes, sir. Uh, G and H will be put in uh, yeah. in the so open. Are, yeah, and C and D will in. retain. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So what is the F value of node G? Sir, F value is. Uh, So 14. 14. So 14 is the. What is the G again? Come, you are making. You are not concentrating. What is the G value of D? G value. Oh, okay, okay. G value of D is uh, five. So what is the G value of node G? G value of node G is uh, sir five plus six eleven. What is the age value of node G? Uh, sir eleven uh, and uh, sir three. So for G for G sir it is one. So then eleven plus one is yes sir okay okay yeah twelve twelve twelve. Concentrate concentrate. Everybody is okay up to this point. Yes, sir. Good. Now, Ishan Deo, are you there? Yes, sir. So, what will be removed from open? Sir, H. Good. And what will happen? Uh, so, what sir, H. What are the is... children of H? There are no children. Uh, Achani, C is the children. But so, what will happen to that? Uh, but C is already, I mean, in the open list. So and you, you are not studying. Have you come to C with a smaller G or not? Uh, yes, sir. Update. We will update. Hmm. We will update C. And yes. you will now have an option of putting back C in the front of the queue also, if you want, or you can keep it there. That is not specified in the algorithm. Yes, sir. Uh, if you don't do that, then you will have G as twelve, C as. What will be the new value of C? Um. Uh, F value, uh, new F value. Five plus four, nine plus two. Um, uh, fifteen.
now sir in hardi ha huh? sir excuse me i have a doubt can i yes ask sir in the third step you, uh, you have kept h after that you have kept g so can we like write it g after that h i think did you attend did you start enter the class a little late i said that it is obviously it is dependent on the order yes, and in the class in the recorded video i am giving it in left to right order now we are doing it in right to left order so it always depends on the order that is what we discussed a little while earlier okay sir obviously okay. the yes. depth first search will depend on the order in which you insert the notes the children in yes. yes sir thank you okay good himadri pandey are you there oh uh, yes sir okay so uh, you tell me what will be removed now uh, sir g will be moved to close uh, and what will come to open H what and are the G. children of G? H and J. H and J. Now, for H, you are going to come to it with a larger cost, so you don't bother. So now you put J in open, right? Yes. Ah, uh, for it, it will be just a second. Fourteen. Yes, I wrote for. Now, somebody tell me. Malga Kaushik, are you there? Yes, sir. Ha. Yes, so, what will be removed? J will be removed, sir. And once J is removed, what do you have to do? Uh, we have found cold state, so we'll terminate it. You terminate it? No, no, sir. Like we will update the better uh, better cost yeah, so, value. So this CB will now become fourteen, uh, and you have C fifteen mm -hmm. and B fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> now, which node will be removed? Naveen, Naveen. Yes, sir. Which node will be removed? Now, uh, but we have reached to the our goal, sir. So, so uh, your first goal you terminate in depth, uh, depth first search. No. You forgot. You were not. You were not there when I started the class. No, sir. I was there. So the first goal is it guaranteed to be optimal? No, no, sir. It is not guaranteed. So what do you do here now? Now uh, in this step, now that you have got open we'll, list containing C and B, we'll move the C to the. You remove the C and then to the closed list. And then. Then we'll be updating the. Update. And then we'll move to the children of C, and then we'll check uh, whether we can uh, anybody find out. else. Anybody else has anything to say here? Sir, we will discard C only. We will remove C and discard C. Why? Sir, because it is it has cost fifteen greater than current best, which is fourteen. Correct. Discard C because it's F N. Is greater than or equal to C B. So we come here, and in this step, I was hesitating so that I can come to this example. In this step, the first node in open is removed, and also pruning is possible here. A pruning test needs to be done if that node is in. if the f value of that node is greater than equal to cb or not so that pruning step has to be done twice once when you generate children 
and once when you remove from open. So once you remove this, you have B. And then which node is removed? B is removed and discarded. B is removed and discarded. And now that open is empty. This is your solution. As you can see, if you did it from left to right, that means you started with B, C, D in open rather than D, C, B. Or you did D, B, C. Or you did C, D, B. Then the sequence of nodes expanded and the sequence of solutions found would be different. That is why depth first search is said to be directional. But the advantage as we mentioned earlier is that its memory requirement is less and because its memory requirement is less. Therefore, depth first search often is a more potent option when you want to work under limited memory. But its pitfall is that while it guarantees the optimal solution, but there are certain cases of infinite graphs where A star will give you the solution, but DFVB will not. Sir, in the close list, it, it will be last. It will be uh, J, I think, instead of C. Yeah, 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 J, J, J. Thank you. It is just sir, yeah. sir, just a small doubt. What is the definition of closed list? The nodes which we have expanded or we have put exactly. Expand. Expand. So should J be there or? Yeah, yeah. The nodes which are removed from. Open in step two. OK. Uh, okay. So, you know, B will be there. Uh, J, any uh, you said step two means uh, here in this list, uh, in this uh, like open closed step two, we are not removing um, J. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we will have to put once we remove J, we will put J. Yes, we will uh, go to that, that uh, we will put that it in uh, closed list from open to closed list. We will we'll, we'll go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is that is optional whether you when you when you select you put it or expand you put it is a little optional. Because only if it is not a gold node or only if it is pruned, you will not expand it. So typically we look at closed as to nodes. Expanded. But you could also make nodes selected. You know, you have to just modify the algorithm. It's not a big deal. So now let us come to iterative deepening. So in iterative deepening, previously we were doing by depth cutoff. Yes. So instead of depth cutoff, what will we do now? Level wise. Cost cutoff. We will do a cost cutoff. That means <clears throat> we will start with an initial cutoff. And we will remove all those nodes which are generated. Whose costs are. Greater than. That cutoff. So we set the initial cutoff. To FS FS is the what is FS? F of start node F of start node. That is my initial cut. Now I perform depth first branch and bound using this cutoff bound. That means whenever any node. Has got an FN value greater than this cutoff. I discard that node in that iteration. So in any iteration, 
If a solution is found, I terminate. First solution, I terminate. But because it is iterative deepening, in one iteration, in, in a particular iteration, or in a series of iterations till now, I may not get a solution. That means I have not seen sufficiently deep enough. So, if I don't find a solution in a particular iteration, I will update the cutoff. Now listen carefully as to how I will update the cutoff. I am pursuing search. So this is my cutoff in iteration I. In iteration I, let this be my cost cutoff. So when I run the iteration, then there will be several nodes from which I backtrack in this step. So let this red colored set be the set of all backtracked nodes. Now if I want to guarantee, now if I want to guarantee, so let this set be called B in that iteration. What will be the cutoff for the next iteration because I have not found a solution? it will remain unchanged. If it remains unchanged, then the algorithm will go into an infinite loop. No? Uh, we'll replace it uh, among the lowest FN values. Right, right. So next cutoff is equal to minimum F of M such that M is an element of B. Naveen, is that what you wanted to say? Yes, sir. Good. And so that becomes the new cutoff for the next iteration. So once that becomes the new cutoff for the next iteration, I go back to step two. So I am just modifying the iterative deepening search which was going level by level. Now I am going cost by cost. So let us see how the algorithm works. So let us say I have iteration. I have cut off. I have open and closed. I'm not writing open and closed separately. So as we can save space. I'm just writing open. OK. And I want to make the new cutoff. So in iteration one, what is my cutoff in this problem? Six. 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 Very good. Six. Now when I run with cutoff six, which nodes will be seen? A. And from where will we, you know, we will go from A to B, but B has got F value equal to 15, so we will back backtrack. So we will remove and backtrack from A, B, C, D, and B, C, D are nodes where we will backtrack from. And A will be expanded. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So what will be the new cutoff now? Eight. 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 
So in iteration two, I start with cutoff eight. Now which nodes are seen? A is expanded. I generate B, C, D. B has got a value 15. C has got a value 16. 16. 16. So these two are discarded. A, no, D is expanded and I generate G and H. But G's F value is 12, 12. and H F value is also 12. 12. So they are also discarded. What is the new cutoff? 12. 12. 12. So now you got the hang of it. So when the new cutoff is 12, then A is expanded, B, C are expanded, D is again expanded, then from G, G is expanded, J is generated but backtracked from because the value of J is 14. H is expanded and, and C is updated. So we have discarded C. So now here C is updated or C is because we have discarded it. If we have kept it in close, we have to update it. But even if we update it, its current new value will be 15. It was 16, it will be 15. And again, it will be discarded. So what is the new cutoff? Only 14. 14. And in the next iteration, when you start with 14, then you will do same thing like this, and you will reach J, and this is goal. And you will terminate. Rajat, can you mute please, unless you want to say something? So this is how iterative deepening A star executes. So Again, when, yes, yes. Uh, sorry. So you, you said terminate after you first after you find the first goal. Yeah. Why is it optimal? Why is it optimal? Can anybody tell? Yes. You have not found the goal. Let me explain. You have not found the goal till cut of 12. OK. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the new cut off? It is the smallest among the new nodes in the new in the iteration. All the others are old nodes. Mm -hmm. If it is the smallest among them. Now tell me, can there be a solution of cost 13 anywhere? If the heuristics are lower bounds no, and not, monotonic, not possible. Mm. If the heuristics are lower bound and monotonic, then can it? Can there be a solution of cost 13? No, no. That is the argument. By contradiction, you can. Mm. Good. Thank you, sir. But. What is the false side of it? What is the flip side? Re-expanding nodes. Re-expansions. What we noticed in normal iterative deepening when we go level by level in a tree, then we found out that if BFS expands order n nodes, then IDS also expands order n nodes. It's approximately 2n in a binary tree. 
But when you have cost cutoffs, when you have cost cutoffs, you can prove, and I leave this to you to prove, if A star expands order N nodes, N nodes, so if A star expands N nodes, ID A star in the worst case can in the worst case can expand order n squared nodes that is the flip side because you can prove when i leave this to you i will not prove this myself and i leave it to you to prove this so having understood idea star and the three algorithms now we now move on to we have discussed there are two three things i have left for you to do one is to prove the effect of heuristic accuracy the more accurate the heuristics are the less the nodes will be expanded both in a star and in ID star, but for DFBB, the property holds provided the directions are same for both. Now come to maximization problems. So in our maximization problems, in these steps, What is the differences we want in A star? What are the properties we need for a maximization problem to run in A star? Can anybody tell me what are the issues we want? For guaranteeing optimal cost? Sir, every heuristic has to be an overestimate okay. and we will have to choose maximum Fn in really? the particular Heuristic estimate HN must be greater than or equal to H star. Except where at goal. Goal it has to be HN is equal to zero. For goal, HN has to be zero. Otherwise, uh, it will not work properly. And secondly, in select, as you rightly pointed out, we remove the node with maximum FN value. Is that clear to everybody? Anybody has a doubt? If there are no doubts, then tell me what do I do in DFBB for maximization? So we backtrack for Fn less than the best cost means our maximized. What is our what is our first thing? Cb is initialized to zero. Cb initialized to zero. Second is pruning is done when Fn. Is less, less than, than the CP. Less than equal to also. Yeah. 
Good. And what do we do for IDA star? Backtrack if FN is less than or equal to the current right. cost cutoff. One is backtrack in an iteration if FN is less than equal to bound, current bound. That CB in DFDB, CB initialized to zero or infinity? If it is initialized to infinity and you are maximizing a solution, you will never find the solution. Your final solution, there can be nothing better than infinity. In DFDB, the CB continues for minimization problem, the CB continues to decrease. In maximization problem, the CB continues to increase. Oh, OK, sir. Thank you. And what is the next cutoff is now set to be? In IDA star for maximization? Some of the bracket track nodes. Yes. So minimum FN n element of b so in idea star for minimization problems the cutoff bounds are increasing strictly increasing whereas whereas for maximization problems they are strictly decreasing So I have already discussed in the video lecture the knapsack problem, both for its uh, uh, um, state transformation rules, heuristics, everything I have discussed. It's a very standard problem. In the assignment yesterday, I gave a variation of this problem only, but converted it to a minimization problem. Did you all observe? The yes, coin sir. selection problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the coin selection problem or the knapsack problem are part of a general problem known as subset problems. I have to find the subset. Whereas the traveling salesman problem, so these are combination problems. Whereas the TSP or its variants are sequence or permutation problems. Another problem is a permutation problem which we have done. Do you know which one? Sliding puzzle. Yes. The sliding puzzle is a very good. The sliding puzzle is also a permutation. Good. So if you have any questions, otherwise I will stop here today. And we will because the next topic I don't have enough time to start the next topic. So we will start the next topic afresh on 30th. Sir, so, can you go to the previous slide? So here uh, for IDA in the maximization problem, next cutoff will be maximum of the FN, right? Minimum. If it is less. Oh, sorry, sorry, maximum of the FN. Maximum, maximum, maximum of sorry, sorry. maximum. Because among those from which I have cut off, that means they were all less than the current. Uh, they were all the current cutoff uh, was uh, initial cutoff was set to FS, which was an upper bound. So it will be a maximum. There I took minimum. Here I will have to take. Right. Sir. Hello. Oh, hello. 
that in the first iteration one node is expanded in the second iteration you can have 1 plus 1 one new node is expanded in every iteration okay yes sir okay understood sir so, 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 sir in yes. this in the case of maximization problem how are we doing pruning sir because in the later stage there can be one node whose f of n is very high like yeah suppose that so let it be very high that, that if that is the solution where will that be considered again sir you are expanding if we, you are doing a star or dfbp or id star in a star for suppose i am saying okay in a star you are removing the node in with Which of n value, largest or smallest? We'll remove largest one. Largest. So you're removing the largest. Like in a star for minimization problems, the sequence of f n values removed in step two, selected in step two, was increasing or decreasing for minimization problems? Sir, it should be decreasing, sir. Was it decreasing? In you run, we ran a star yeah, so many times. Minimization. Minimization. Okay, increasing. Increasing. Now, in maximization problem, will it be increasing or decreasing? Okay, sir. Sir, but I am saying, suppose we have first included B, C, and D, mm. and out of that, we have selected. Uh, maybe suppose say d for you have selected d because the fn value of d was the largest right yes sir so here the monotonicity see the heuristic estimates are over estimates remember okay. at every is... node the hn value is greater than equal to h star n for maximization problems okay yes sir got it yes sir. so that will be the maximum that can be possible <laughs> yes yes so yes sir uh, i couldn't understand in it star why we are not maintaining a closed list we are maintaining we are maintaining i didn't draw it i didn't write it here we are maintaining everything uh then why are we having to re expand uh, a uh, i mean that is the property if you don't re expand a then your memory requirement will become same as is done if you keep the nodes then your memory requirement will be same as is done so after one iteration is over you flush open and closed and restart no that is the algorithm oh, okay If you don't do that, then you are open and close. See, you are going to expand all the nodes that A star sees. You cannot leave out any node, right? Yeah. So now, if you store all of them, then your memory requirement becomes same as A star, and you are you are you are starting all over again. What is the point? Oh, okay, sir. Okay. So in ID A star, after every iteration, you throw away. You make you restart from the beginning. Open content start, close descent. Okay. Because if you don't, then it will, you know, just be there. Yeah, I got it, sir. Good. You can stop the recording. We can stop today. Thank you uh, very sir, much. Sir, if uh, 